gift storm fans are relentless relentless i say i've uploaded a few videos over the last few days that are not gift storm and all of the comments have just been but when are you going to update gift storm when are you going to update gift storm well this is the video i hope you're happy please stop commenting that on all my other videos how's it going everyone brian cook here and today we're playing modern i'm going to do a little bit more of an in-depth uh deck breakdown today so that way maybe all of you gift fans will uh you know appreciate the other videos a little bit more so i say that jokingly i love all of you but you know why does it always have to be about gift storm well this video it is so this deck is updated for post uh adventures into the forgotten realms i think it's called and that means that we're playing four copies of the card wish today if you're unfamiliar wish is two and a red for a sorcery you can play a card from outside the game this turn that's it that's the card so it's essentially a modern legal burning wish um, at least in this deck but it doesn't put it to your hand and you don't have to select the card immediately so it is a little bit different and if you're interested in more on this uh card alex mckinley and i did an entire video breakdown on this deck you can check it out on the card above uh it's a pretty sweet video i'd recommend checking that out anyway see how wish is in other formats but today we're playing it in gift storm and the question is does wish solve anything for gift storm and i'm not sure i think that it's not the savior that some people want it to be but i do think it's going to improve some angles of the deck and that's what we're going to find out today so i am someone who runs fetch lands it is best at maximizing your maximizing your potential to win um i get comments about this all the time on videos why do you run fetch lands it's just better um some of you like to pretend that your scries matter they don't uh you're better off like you're going to shuffle your deck with gifts and given anyway that's not the point of this video but fetch lands are optimal every other deck in the format runs fetch lands for a reason uh it's like this cult thing with gifts storm people where they've decided that fetch lands are bad it's not true it also helps with beating blood moon which is fairly popular at the moment so believe in basics it's just the right thing um and fetch lands get those basics so i am also someone who runs sleight of hand you can run slendy vision but that card stinks uh i'm just not a big fan of that card it's slow it's clunky it doesn't do anything we want to do i want smooth consistent draws and running maximum number of cantrips helps with that so that's what i'm looking to do today these cards also generate extra storm for one of our new cyborg cards galvanic relay this is a card i'm really excited to play uh over the last year or so i think that aria flame has begun gone from being incredibly good to pretty terrible it's just that the number of answers that exist for it are really really high and i think that it's probably only good against red black shadow now so galvanic relay is the new card we'll be trying out today from modern horizons 2 and i think it's going to be a pretty big improvement the card from modern horizons 2 that we're not playing in this list today is strike it rich a lot of people sent me questions asking if strike it rich could possibly replace goblin electromancer i think that shows a flawed understanding of how the deck works or misunderstanding i should say and part of the reason why is this deck stinks and I don't mean that in a bad way, but when you look at all of the cards individually, most of them aren't that good. Uh, Desperate Ritual, you know, like, it's just two mana for three isn't great. Pyretic Ritual is the same thing. Um, Manamorphose, while being a really good card, doesn't make any mana. So you really need these cost reducers to make the cards in your deck playable. And when you remove a cost reducer to just create a Lotus Petal, you're not actually helping your deck become any better. And that's sort of the problem. I think one of the only things that I like about Striker Rich in this style of deck would be that if you play Striker Rich on turn one, on turn two, you can have Brawl with Roman back up. That to me is pretty sweet, and I'd be interested in that. But it's sort of a pipe dream. It does help you filter red mana into blue mana, which is something that I think is interesting. If Mana Morphos were to ever be banned, that is a way that Gift Storm could, could continue living, is with Strike It Rich. That said, I think if Mana Morphos goes, this deck becomes sort of bad. Um, and I'm not even sure how good Gift Storm is to begin with anymore, but we'll see how it fares today. Chalice has become pretty popular, and Chalice for one and zero are the go-to's well this deck you have to chalice on two so hopefully we can do some winning before then i still think that twiddle storm is probably the better storm deck but 
you know, times change, maybe metagame shift, maybe wish is the boost that Gift Storm needed. Um, the only card that I'm not like confident in the main deck is I like pretty, uh, where is that? Okay, I grabbed the sideboard one. Uh, is Remand. I don't think that that card is that good anymore, especially because of how aggressive Modern has become. And when you're aggressive, it's sort of a, um, a bad slot. Like this could be two copies of Strike It Rich, but most people like Remand, so I'm going to play it today because I'm trying to run something fairly stock to make all of you happy. But I think Remand is not very good right now, if I'm being honest. So I like every other slot in the deck. You do have to run two copies of Past and Flames. Uh, so some of you might be thinking with Wish, like maybe you can just run one. Well, that's not how Gifts works. With Gifts, you really... Because if they require you to flash it back, that means that your next Gifts pile, you're not going to be able to get another Past and Flames in order to win. And that's an issue. So I am running two copies of Past and Flames. It'd be nice if we could get it down to one and maybe run like a main deck Galvanic Relay or something. But if your opponents are smart, the way that the Gifts piles work is you could end up in a sticky situation. So we are running two of this. One Gifts in the board, uh, so that way we can find it more consistently. Uh, eighth bear in the board so that way you can find your cost reducers like i said this deck is not very good if you don't find them uh and i am a fan of grape shot in both places it just allows you to win more easily especially if someone plays a surgical or something on your main deck grape shot mill is a deck in the format now it just gives you that backdoor out um yeah why don't we just move to the board so wish does something that i've had a problem with in modern for a long time now which is the fact that Remand stinks against blue decks. Ever since Modern Horizons 1, I think that Remand has not been a very good card, and I've said that in my videos in the past. That has not changed. So the reason why is that Force and Negation can just be recast for free. Like, your opponent just needs two blue cards. Why are we still playing Remand? I honestly don't know. Um, well, with Wish on our sideboard, or I'm sorry, Wish for Pact on our sideboard, talking is very difficult. Um, we can play our wish and then cast our gifts and given into past and flames, etc. And we have this pact here to counter their force of uh, negation. That's the first time we've had this style of effect. And honestly, I think it's pretty big game. Like I said, I think remand isn't very good. I'm at the point where I honestly think that this slot should be something else, but this is going to help us quite a bit. Void snare is a one mana removal. So like I said, chalice on two is the best way of beating this deck. Well, Void Snare is a way of answering Chalice on 2. Uh, and if they play Chalice on 1, we have a Braid or Echoing Truth, etc. Um, you know, Echoing Truth, the Braid, they're just versatile removal cards. We talked about Gifts. Flame Slash is for Eidolon. You could run Dismember here, because Dismember would mean that 2 mana off of... Um, well, okay, let's rewind a little bit. So, Dismember and Flame Slash are for Eidolon of Rhetoric. Well, you can't wish kill Eidolon of Rhetoric like... You just can't cast two spells in one turn with that in play. So you end up boarding in Flame Slash uh, and Echoing Truth and maybe even Void Snare. And Flame Slash can kill Eidolon through a Veil of Summer. That's why you run Flame Slash. That said, if you wanted to run a Dismember in the board, the nice part about running Dismember is for non Eidolon creatures that have a large butt, which would be like Spell Queller with a, another pump effect in play, maybe. I don't know. Uh, what this would actually be for, but you could play Brawl for Wish, two mana, and then Dismember for zero mana to kill a creature, so it would only be two mana to kill something. That's the nice thing about running a Dismember. I just don't know what you're killing that's relevant um, for that mana cost, that like Lightning Bolt or Braid or something else wouldn't answer. So I don't know. If you have a reason to run Dismember, let me hear it. Uh, I love Dismember, but I think Flame Slash is probably slightly better due to Eidolon. Uh, I mentioned the sideboard Grape Shot Relays. These are mostly for boarding in. I don't know if you're going to board in two or three. It sort of depends on how the mapping works. I'm likely going to board out Remand a lot. This is a card I see being boarded out for Relay. Uh, just giving you a heads up. Empty is still good in my opinion. You don't have to run these style effects main deck anymore because your opponents will have to name Grape Shot and then Wish. If you wanted to run something like a main deck repeal, you could, but I'd run it over the remand or an un unsub. Uh, but this is that slot that used to be an empty or a repeal previously, which sort of took those over. Past in Flames, just in case you need one. You do have to run the two in the main deck, but maybe Wish creates a loop where you don't need gifts and give it anymore. 
and then ignite memories this is sort of my spice slot if i'm being honest this could be something else uh it could be allures if you wanted i don't know um but this gives you a way of winning that doesn't use the graveyard like galvanic relay but against larger decks you could get them with fewer storm like a main deck tron like they have turn one relic you just ignite memories them or eldrazi tron who knows but that's it and then obviously the goblin electromancer i've done a lot of talking so far i'm going to show for a second and then we can hop into round number one so if you appreciate this video make sure to subscribe it's free to do so and to help support this channel i now have a new uh subscriber goal i found out recently that with 10,000 subs which i'm not even halfway to yet i'm only at 4200 but at 10,000, you can start selling stuff directly on your YouTube channel, which means I could sell the mini token packs directly underneath, and I'd like to do that eventually. So that's my long-term goal. So help me hit that long-term goal. I would appreciate it. Um, yeah, so do that. You can also like and comment, get me into that YouTube algorithm, help other people find this great Storm content. And if you're a Gift Storm player and you want more people to play Gift Storm, that's one way of helping it. So make sure to comment and like. You can also become a member that's uh you know we have a couple different tiers you unlock badges and emotes on the first tier i just added something to the second tier last night a lot of you uh comment asking for cyborg guides for decks and i honestly just don't have the time to make them uh for every deck that i upload it's just really time consuming and i'm recording literally every single day trying to make content for this channel well with our middle tier for being a member i will make you two cyborg guides every single month so if you wanna, so the first level is being a storm fan, the second level is being a storm trooper, and the third is the combo cabal. If you're a storm trooper, I will make you two cyborg guides. That is worth the money every month, in my opinion. So you can become a storm trooper and level up your decks and game plans that way. So if you're interested in that, I would recommend becoming a member. Uh, combo cabal, you get a free uh, donation deck every single month on top of all those other perks. So. It's pretty sweet and a great way of supporting this content. And if you're interested in supporting this in any other way, one second while I click it. Donation decks, that's where you go, the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. Pick your tier, upload your deck file from Magic Online. It's that simple. And you can see your deck showcased here on this very channel. Wouldn't you love to see that? You can also just go directly to the epicstorm.com slash shop, pick up a pint glass, a token pack, or a storm 20 baseball tee. That's my intro. That's what I have to say. A little bit long-winded. I'm just excited to be playing some Magic the Gathering today. I haven't played Gift Storm in a couple months at this point, if I'm being honest. I think that Total Storm is just the better Storm deck, but hopefully I'm wrong. And maybe Gift Storm is on its way back with Wish. Let's find out if Wish is what this deck needed. Don't go anywhere. Round number one will be coming up in just a, se just a second. Like I said, talking stuff. Um, I'll see you there. Welcome to round number one. We are on the play. Let's get it. Pause here. Likely a companion Alurus, as it always is. Uh, this hand seems reasonable. We'll try it. Do you need to find land, land number two off of the Serum Visions? That is a thing. Probably just going to start on the Steam Vents to make sure that we have both colors up front and then cast our Serum Visions. We did find land number two and the Gibson given. Lucky. All right, so we're just going to pass the turn here. It's interesting. I don't know. Ah, oh, they're on mill. That's not good. Well, there's a lot of non-lands there, but uh, we didn't need our land. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, yep, they played their land. We hit. That's a good sign. I mean, we hit the land we wanted, at least. Um, am I supposed to jam Baral here? I think the answer is yes. Now we just have to be able to untap. I mean, this deck used to play main deck surgicals. If they have a surgical here, we're kind of in trouble. Um, because we have the Passing Flames in the graveyard. I guess we can wish for the cyborg copy as well um that's something we can do so wish does open up our possibilities here a little bit and another copy of uh gifts and given i think i'm supposed to cast this now hold priority and then play wish or uh, then play morphos i mean 
So that way they can't surgical in response to the Manamorphos. Looks like they have a counter spell targeting past in flames. Let's remand that. And we've gotten game number one from Mill. Take that. This is a nightmare matchup and we just blew them out of the water. No things to wish though. Uh, a little bit of luck in my opinion. Um, do we want to change anything? I feel like relay isn't the plan because we're helping them uh, exile more of our deck. Am I supposed to just like resubmit here? I feel like that actually might be the answer. Is just clicking submit again. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let me tell you about our mini token pack. For $12, you get 54 combo tokens. That's just like insanely good value, right? You get 20 storm, 10 block, 10 red, 5 blue, and 3 of the rest. This token pack is designed for the epic storm, not modern storm, unfortunately, but we do provide you with 54 goblet tokens on the back, 6 of each for your copies of Empty the Warrens in your sideboard. It's pretty great. And then there are many. They're half the size of a standard match of the other card. We have 24 of this mini token pack left. This is the original mini token pack. So if you're interested in getting that, get them while you can, because after this, they're going to be different. So if you want the original mini token pack, get them now. That's the epicsrum.com slash shop. Okay, we're on the draw in game number two. Our opponent has once again revealed Luris, so Luris has not gone anywhere, and we're going to keep this. I don't know if I should be using the Scalding Tarn. I don't know if it actually matters, but... And there's the Crab. We do need the land and another Tarn, so I'm just going to let them Archive Trap me into Oblivion. It's fine. Okay, and let's Sleight of Hand. Um, I don't think we need land four, so let's just take the Slight. Okay, so Hedron Crab going to mill six here. And they hit the past in flame, so that's a pretty juicy surgical target. And there's our other one. Uh, that's going to feel so bad. Okay. Um, why don't we play Electromancer? I feel like the one downside of playing Electromancer here is that if for some reason our opponent's playing Collective Brutality, they're going to blow us out of the water. Uh, but I don't expect that to be the case, and it's better for Electromancer to die than Brawl, in my opinion. Okay, Crab going to mill three more into what? Alright, we mill four. Yep. There's a pause here. I'm worried about a card. Okay, Archive Trap, that's fine. Okay, so they get to draw three with Visions. And Suster Recall and Modern's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so they've milled Wish and Grape Shot at this point. So if they had a pair of Surgicals, they could win right now because they would hit Wish and uh, Past in Flames. Okay, so they have a Soul Guide instead. Uh, Soul Guide's still good here. I mean, I'd rather it be Soul Guide than... Um, what's it called? Surgical. We only have 19 cards left, so we're going to need to, you know, get a little bit lucky here, probably. Um, let's crash in there. Those are needed storm count. I think we're supposed to just, like, play Brawl this turn and hope that we don't die. Try to win next turn. I mean, it's possible that we just, like, they mill us for like land drop mill 14 and we're dead um that is mill 12 so another mill effect would win it's just what are we supposed to do there uh cast pass and flames into their soul guide lantern and then uh try to win off a single sleight of hand that's not reasonable but i think we're just dead here uh one wish two wish three wish four wish and the grape shot yeah we're dead all right, so they got us. Game three. Once again, I'm just going to hit submit here. Our deck is already in the proper configuration. We just uh, weren't fast enough that game. 
And it's interesting that we saw a Soul Guide Lantern. That's a card that we can definitely beat instead of Surgical. I was a lot more afraid of Surgical there. So let's see if we can just uh, get ahead of it. We can also answer it with a Wish um, and Avoid Snare or just uh, do the classic Past in Flames. They um, use the ability, we let the ability resolve. We then cast Gifts and Given with the Past in Flames on the stack, that'll do. There's a bunch of different ways that we can uh, beat Soul Guy Lantern type effects. Being on the play is going to be huge too. Admittedly, I think that this is probably the only matchup that exists where fetch lands are worse than um, the, you know, the shock mana base or whatever you would like to call it. In general, I do think that fetch lands are better. Uh, we don't turn on archive trap. Um, well, we do turn on Archive Trap more frequently, but I think Fetch Lands just will improve more matchups than anything else than just like trying to dodge Mill, which isn't even that popular in the metagame. Like, it's a contender in the metagame, but it's not like a high percentage of the field. Okay. Waiting on our opponent to reveal Luris. Yes, I will keep this. They're going to mulligan to six. Here we can actually get away without ever playing these in the early turns. So I think I'm going to do that. Just try to keep Archive Trap off. I don't know how effective that plan is, but we'll try it. Okay. Steam Vince. We're going to pass the turn. Next turn, play Brawl. And then reevaluate after that. A crab, I am shocked. Another fetch land is not ideal. Okay, they were not F6 there. I don't know if this deck plays force and negation. It might. Feel the ruin, okay. There's that pesky soul guide lantern. Alright, so that says to me that our opponent does not have surgical on their deck. Turning on Archive Trap here, which is a little bit unfortunate. And I could attack, but like, they're gonna block. That's like, yeah, I could theoretically juke them for a point, but that's just not reasonable. Um, I think I'm gonna leave these. Because I can force them to use the Soul Guide. Yep, so now I'm gonna mill Past in Flames. Are they going to let me use it? Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to start on Morphos. Really wish I had another ritual. Yeah, let's just cast this. See if they'll uh, soul guide. Not sure if they will. Um, okay, they let it resolve. I think we're supposed to start on Serum Visions. Blue, red. Okay. Um, just want to think about this a little bit. If I can beat the soul guide, maybe I should have done that before I ritualed. So we can add, we can pyretic ritual into gifts here. We can actually change our pile. We can get like manamorphose. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going um, because I think I can beat the soul guide. So we can get like wish morphose. The other past in flames. Unless they have a counter spell here. Which looks like I uh, got rocked. Yep. In theory, I could have played around that probably by not going all in. Kudos to them for having the discipline to not counter the past in flames. Okay. So that means that they don't have um, Archive Trap because we fetched that turn. So I can fetch again on our turn most likely. So we're going to mill four. Hit the other Past in Flames. So we're probably getting hit by Soul Guide here. Okay, Crab. Three cards in hand. Another crab. It's weird that they played it after. So they're down to one card. Um, 
I mean, I could flashback the past in flames here. I don't know what it does is the issue. Let's start off on visions. So spell number one. Um, wondering if I can kill both crabs. So I would then opt into visions. I don't think I can. All right, so I think I'm going to attack, see if they'll block one. Because that could give me the one damage I need. Okay. So now we opt. So the spell number two, spell number three. And I don't think I want either of these, so I'm going to bottom those. Spell number four. Then same targets. All right, and our opponent's down to one, one card in hand, that is. They do have Luris, so they could theoretically, uh, like, put Luris to their hand, use Field of Rune for uh, a black source, eventually replay the crabs. I'm not sure what they're doing here, Field of Ruin. Okay. We do have one basic left in the dock. Oh, well, that worked out for them. So that must have been their draw for turn because they didn't have our archive trap previously, so they still have the one card they had last turn. One wish, two wish. The third wish is exiled. They went after Grape Shot. Uh, probably not the move. So they were holding on to Surgical last turn. So they have Surgical and Soul Guide. Um, we have one wish left, and we need to win with it. So sort of a tough spot to be in here. We have two blanks in our hand. One wish, two wish. Yeah, if they had just surgical the wish, they won there. So they're probably going to soul guide here. And if they don't, I could like manamorphose or something. Yep, so that's exiled. How we win this game now is by drawing the wish. Our opponent can't cast Luris. They didn't get a black source last turn. Oh, they ripped it. So that's going to be the game. Uh, our opponent drew their, uh, their out. Okay, they got us. We are starting this zero and one. Welcome to round number two. We're looking to bounce back after that difficult round number one. Our opponent has revealed the Yorion, which means that they're likely on some sort of control deck. Maybe mono white death and taxes in modern. I'm not sure. We've opened up a reasonable hand. We need land two and a cost reducer, but I think I'm going to keep this. All right, the old Tuke start us off. Forest? Okay. I don't know what's going on anymore. Could be like green white hippers, maybe. All right, let's activate this flooded strand. Get our steam vents. Yes, I would like to pay two and cast serum visions. We hit the land. The rituals are nice, but we just want to find that cost reducer, so we're going to bottom these. We have enough mana already that if we find a cost reducer, we have the gifts when locked up. Thalia, obviously. Okay. Cost reducers, find me. Wish is not going to do here. We're going to have to bottom that. All right. So the nice thing about Brawl is Brawl naturally counters Thalia, both on the board and the uh, taxing effects. So we want to find Brawl first because Thalia can bully an Electromancer a little bit. Uh, I actually, I guess Thalia bullies uh, Brawl when there's two Noble Hierarchs in play as well. All right, Stoneforge. So yeah, Wish is not very reliable against the Thalia deck. There's Baral, okay, step one. Cauldra complete coming down next turn, swinging for at least six, uh, assuming that they don't attack with Thalia as well. I'm sorry, it's a five-five, at least seven. 
So we're possibly facing lethal next turn. Oh, that's sort of fire ice. Okay, not Cauldra. Okay, so I mean that's pretty good. It's gonna be really difficult for us to win now. And the draw is. So I think the only way we win this game is if we draw into exactly Goblin Electromancer with this Morpho cycle. All right, so we have to draw into Electro. Another Brawl, wrong cost reducer. So had we drawn the Electromancer, we could go Ritual, Manamorphose, and try to uh, cast some spells or Gifts and Given. We're technically a Ritual short, but maybe we could hit off the Morphos draw or something like that. But we would have had to have found uh, Electromancer there. Um, yeah, I just don't think we have an out. Oddly enough, Wish into uh, Dismember hypothetically can kill this, but not in this situation. Okay, we lost game number one against Tape Bears. Let's get those Remands out of our deck. Okay, so we'll set out Remand here. I like Bolt, I like Flame Slash, I like Echoing Truth, I like a Braid. A lot of good stuff here. Hmm. I think we probably want to shave on cantrips most likely. Opt is worse if you're not uh, using a bunch of instant speed interaction like Romance, so we're going to keep in sleight of hand over Opt. Uh, the question is if you want to board and void snare when we have a grape shot on the board. I'm not sure if the answer on that, but we do have um, more answers in our main. Now we have Echoing Truth, a Braid, Flame Slash, Bolt. So we decided in four on top of the grape shot. I think that this is most likely good enough. I'm going to just submit this. Okay, on the play for game number two. We haven't even got the cast wish yet. I'd like to do that at some point this league. Maybe this will be the game. Sure, this seems fine. All right, steam vents pass. What we need with this hand is either Wish or uh, Gifts and Given for it to be an easy win. They're in Mesa. Play Brawl and pass the turn. Is Brawl going to adventure on a path here? No. Okay. Thalia, classic. Classically lame. Get out of here. Oh, they have the solitude for our brawl. That's brutal. We do have an Electromancer, but that hurt. Okay. I completely forgot about solitude as a card this deck has to play around because with Twiddle Storm, you just don't care about creature removal, and I completely forgot about solitude blowing you out with this deck. Uh, I need to read this. That card does hurt us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're looking for Wish. And a removal spell for Thalia. I actually just have to pass here. So one of the things I was concerned with about this deck is that people were looking at Wish as this uh, answer to all of Gift Storm's problems. Giftstorm has had a number of things go wrong with it over the last few years where it's just compounding issue after compounding issue, and I don't know if Wish is that savior everyone's looking for. Sort of Fire Ice is brutal. It's going to kill our Electromancer. I think we're actually starting this League off 02 now. Uh, there's the Bolt, but it turned too slow for the Sort of Fire Ice. Yeah, they just got us. All right, 0 2. Welcome to match number three. We are on the play. This seems not great, but I'll try it. I mean, we have lands, we have cantrips, so we can sculpt this into something meaningful, hopefully. Maybe I should have mulligan this, I don't know. Lands are always welcome, though. Okay, D Frank, what are you up to? You didn't reveal a companion. So you're not like everyone else in Modern. All right, they've taken a mulligan. 
All right, let's start off the match finally. Flooded Strand. Let's just search up that Steam Vents. Cast Visions. I would love these two cards. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about Solitude, though. It's just like another thing this deck has to deal with. Like your opponent taps out, you think you have the win, and they just Solitude you. It's pretty brutal. Um, Not sure what we're facing yet. Just gonna jam a brawl. So they could bounce it with the spell bomb here, just like set us back a turn. I mean, this is some sort of Urza Saga deck. I like that. That part's obvious. I'm just not sure what the block is for out of the deck. I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, uh, so this is just like blue black Hell's Kitchen, probably. Fatal push. It's kind of rough. Okay, so now we draw. We're going to get our last island in the deck. And we'll start on Slight of Hand. Take the other Slight. Gifts is probably a little bit better here. Because we can do the end step Gifts on tap, try to kill you plan. Let's bottom the Opt. Ah. So this gets our Mountain, but then we have no more fetchable lands. All right. Yeah, so they're just like blue black Hell's Kitchen. Makes sense. Using Bobble. Honestly, you could probably even combine Hell's Kitchen with Death Shadow if this is your plan. Okay, so they're actually just going to pass, which is sort of interesting. We're going to pass back and then on their unsip gifts, gifts. You have plenty of Bobbles. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what does that mean? Okay. So we're going to fetch here and cast gifts on their end step. Gifts and given incoming. Okay. We'll just do like a standard pile here, probably. Cast in flames. Pyretic Ritual, and Morphos. In theory, we could have gotten like Wish or a Bear there. Um, problem is like Wish doesn't actually do a whole lot for us in my opinion. Like we could Wish into a Bear and pass only to have it die. Like our opponent was keep, keeping something open. Or even if they don't have the removal, they do have a Spell Bomb already in play, which is a little bit awkward. Okay, so they didn't give us the mana. A cost reducer off top would likely win here, assuming that our opponent doesn't have force negation. All right, so let's start on visions. And there it is. We can bottom this, keep the ritual on top. For all. All right, no whammies. No whammies. Okay, it's looking good so far. Okay, liking this. We're just going to cast a bunch of rituals, mana morphos, add two blue here. Quick click, morphos. Let's add two more blue. Okay, um, let's see if we can win without, fi or without having to cast the other gifts. I always find that fun. Uh, two blue left. And there it is. All right, so now we cast Wish. Could be funny and try to ignite memories or opponent out here. Let's do it. Um, I have seven, eight mana. Ignite would cost four. Technically, if Ignite misses, uh, we would lose. Are the memes worth it? I think that we should just grape shot. I'm already feeling your regret. I should have cast Ignite Memories. It would have just been way sweeter. All right, so Grixis Kitchen, I guess we'll call it. I don't know. We've taken game number one from them. We've won a game. Let's celebrate. Um, do I even want to change anything else here? 
maybe let's try boarding and relay over the remands i don't feel like remand is a great card here and relay might be a nice way of beating a Tormod's Crypt style of effect out of this deck because with Emery there's bound to be like Nile Spa Bomb, Tormod's Crypt, Soul Guide, something like that. And having access to Relay in six different ways can end up being fairly beneficial. So let's test out Galvanic Relay, see how it is uh, against Graveyard Hate. Hopefully it lives up to the expectation. If you are unfamiliar, I'm a part of the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brent Cook, alongside Brian Cobal and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss legacy. That said, our episodes cover a variety of different things from game theory to legacy metagame breakdowns. So it's not just all legacy. I'd recommend checking us out. We're available on all major podcast platforms. Game number two, we're on the draw and we've opened up a no lander. We're gonna ship this, definitely not keepable. I guess we'll keep the four lander. I mean, five lands, one in game one, right? All right, let's get rid of a fetch land and see if this, uh, I mean, this is essentially the hand we kept in game one and that hand crushed. So let's see if this hand can follow that up. Opponent starts off by cycling a street wreath, Dark Slick Shores into Spell Bomb. And that's why we cited in those sweet, sweet relays. Love the Brawl draw. This is starting just like our first game did. Steam Vents, would love to shock myself. And Visions, wish is a good pickup here. Uh, I think I like both of these, so let's keep those on top. Question is if they have the fatal push to back it up. Because I think I'm just jamming Brawl next turn. Find it quickly using a bobble. Okay. I have a feeling that they do have the removal spell. So I think I'm actually just going to cast Opt here into the cantrip and try to just like create a bigger turn uh, i guess we'll take opt because if they do have like a fatal push or something we could use them to help build up our storm count as well yeah they're just holding open interaction we just play this tapped and pass why force it come on tap out for a nerza coward do it so this makes me think that they might have um, Dark Mage's Charm or something. Don't want that. Wish number three. Hmm. If I cast Wish, do we think that they counter it? Because otherwise, this is just like, uh, like a do nothing. I'm hoping that they counterspell this. They could also have like a metallic rebuke, and they let it resolve very wisely. Um, I think we just bolt them. <laughs> uh, the downside of that plan. That was a bait spell that did not pay off. Now if they surgical me, I'm gonna have egg in my face. Yeah, discarding watery grave, that's interesting. So they didn't even have oval chase. Hmm. I like the relay here. I think I'm just going to pass. So next turn I can play Baral. Uh, ritual, they'll try to kill it. I'll ritual in response and then we can relay. It also wish into something else. Three cards in hand. Okay, that was a good draw. Let's see what we can accomplish. I'm guessing that this is going to die. Yep. See if we can increase our storm count at all. Sure, your push resolves. So they have one card in hand. Uh, let's do this. So this is going to convert relay into eight cards, which is just wonderful. Relay! Get out of here, Nile Spell Bomb. No one likes you. No one. Okay, not a whole lot of mana in there, unfortunately. Uh, so next turn, we can play Brawl into Morphos, and then maybe Brawl, uh, but there's no rituals in there. And if we tried to pass in flames, they do have the Spell Bomb. 
Okay, so they have a pair. They have three food. Ashiok. Okay, that's no different from Spellbomb. And I guess uh, we're seeing the benefit of Wish over um, Solve the Equation here because Solve the Equation doesn't get through Ashiok, so that's kind of nice. Hmm. Labor all. Now we can cast Morphos. The blue red. Fetch lane doesn't work at the moment. Set at the moment because we can change that. We can grape shot the um the Ashiok. And then use the strand to fetch and then cast Slide of Hand. Like we're still very much in this game. Okay, so Ashiok's going to die. So you might be asking, like, Brian, why don't you just play the Spire Bluff? I'd rather cast Sleight of Hand here than get a land drop that doesn't make a meaningful difference. All right, we'll take Morphos. All right, so Pass Some Flames is going to get exiled, which is a little bit of a bummer, because that means both of our main deck hobbies will be exiled. That said, we do have this pair of wishes. Uh, but right now, my eye is on not using Pass Some Flames to win if I can help it. So... We're going to see if we can come up with another creative way. Empty the Warrens doesn't look bad here. Our opponent is Hellbent. Um, I, I guess they have their one card plus their Bobble Draw, but I don't know how... They also have a bunch of food. I don't know if they can actually answer an Empty. Mm, wish 3. A little awkward here. Uh, let's start off by just casting Gifts. See if I can get some mana off this. Ritual, ritual. Honestly, I would take an Electromancer here. It makes. Uh, I guess our wishes already cost one, so I don't need that. Um. Maybe I'll take the mountain then. Sure, let's take the bear. It's fine. So they're probably going to put the two uh, rituals to the graveyard and we'll get Mountain into Electromancer. I'm definitely going to play the Mountain this turn. I don't know if I'll play the Electromancer. I just don't know if we need that sort of effect. Ooh, they gave me Mountain Ritual. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go. They're at 12 and they can go up to 15. Okay. Cast Wish. So I could try to bounce the Spell Bomb. I just don't know how good that actually is. Cast Wish again. And another Wish. Why not? Let's Void Snare this Construct. Let's get that Jerk out of here. Ooh, I have a Grape Shot Remain Grape Shot line. I just noticed that because I boarded out the Remain. That's kind of cool. Uh, so now we'll Remain this. Yes, I would love to draw a card. <laughs> All right, so that worked out pretty well. Kind of cool. I didn't see it initially, but sweet line. We can even cast Relay for the Humble Brags, assuming that the Pyretic Ritual resolves. Why not? Let's just increase that Storm Count. Prove that we had all these. Alright, and then Grape Shot to finish it. So we've gotten our first match win. We're 1-2. and two. Let's see if we can finish strong. We actually got to cast Wish this round, which was kind of cool. Um, yeah, Let's see how it goes. Can we win back-to-back -back matches? Let's find out. We're on the play for match number four. Pretty good hand. Let's keep. Okay, let's start off. We'll cast this sleight of hand. Lovely Magic the Gathering card. Wish they had the uh, seventh edition black borders online that aren't foil. Do we want land three or gifts and given? I think probably the gifts. It's close. With having uh, Wish in our deck, the action spell uh, aspect isn't what it used to be. 
Like, you're not just always searching for, like, one of your four gifts. You'll have some time. We're just going to pass here, hold up remand, and then we can opt on the end step. It's one of the benefits of casting Slay to Hand on turn one, is that we still have the opt available on turn two with the remand. All right, they're just going to pass. I like that. Land. No. Wish not the draw we needed. Um, we're just going to pass the turn here. So we have five mana right now, and if we drew another Pyratic Ritual, we could get up to seven. So if we draw a Pyratic Ritual off of Remand or something, we could, in theory, empty for a bunch. They're going to bolt us. Sure. They're just on red, green, burn. Is that what's going on here? No, you can't have that. Come on. Get out of here. Ooh, are we going for it? I think we are. Okay, so I can cast Ritual Morphos. I can at least empty for a bunch this turn, I believe. But it'd be nice if we drew a land off of the Morphos. All right, so I'm going to add blue, red, blue and red. No, the ritual is not bad. Um, actually, I think we have a deterministic kill here. All right, so I'm going to cast Desperate. This is actually kind of cool. So now we wish, get past in flames. Okay, and then because we have the mana morphos in the graveyard, I honestly don't even know if we need the blue mana. We'll find out. But we have 10 red, so we can just wish for Grape Shot. Grape Shot them. And then pass in flames, uh, flashback Grape Shot. So without even needing the red mana, we got there this turn. This feels a lot like Infernal Tutor in Ant in Legacy right now. This is a pretty sweet one. All right, flashback. Boom. So and start playing some uh, BOB for me. Something, something wish right now. We got it. Game number one over Red Green Titan. That was sweet. Um, do I want to board in relays preemptively for Grave Hate? So we can board in two relay. Two relay. Words are. I can't talk. That's what you should get from this video, if anything. It's not that wish didn't fix. Uh, gift storm. It's that Bryant Cook can't communicate. That's what the big takeaway is here. Um, I guess we could probably board an Echoing Truth. And then, like, maybe a Braid and set up four cantrips. Do these. Because these will answer uh, Damping Sphere if they have them, and then this answers Grave Hate. So I think I'm okay with boarding like this. I like that Wish opens up a lot of. Um, space for you to not overboard which is something that i feel like including myself but a lot of players did previously which was they would board in like six answer spells for all that stuff and now wish just helps you have a uh, a better plan because you don't necessarily need to board in all those answers all right we're gonna um do we want to let's think about do we want to get the steam vents here I think we want to guarantee the red source for the Electromancer, so we probably should. All right, we hit the land and a wish. I'm actually going to keep the backup Electromancer in case the first one dies. I think it's a pretty easy decision here. And there's the wet ball. Okay. Now I look like a genius for boarding in uh, those answers. Genius, I say. Split ball can be a problem. I'd hope that we draw a land next turn because we can gobble an Electromancer into Opt. It's a Dryad. Um, I think I'm just going to play the Electromancer. I don't know if there's a better way of doing that. I, I think I probably could have burned like Manamorphos maybe. But if you Opt first, you can't cast Electromancer, which is an issue. So we have a Braid in the deck and Echoing Truth, and then we have Wishes. Wish won't deal with the Sphere at the moment. We just don't have enough lands. 
We are uh, being threatened by the Veil Cut, but it looks like they missed some land drops, so that's good for us. I think I just need to dig for lands. Or do a ritual anyway. Okay. We can opt on their turn now. They only played one land that turn, so... I don't know what that means. Alright, so now if they have a land drop, they can actually kill... Um, okay, it looks like they don't have a land. So they're sitting on four cards that aren't lands. Yeah, I think I just need the steam vents here. Because if I draw braid, I won't be able to win otherwise. So I'm playing to my outs. Alright, we don't want that. Alright, I'll take the land. So now we can gifts on the end step. Uh, I don't know how good that actually is. We have a braid. I'm just gonna, well, I, I guess I can get Wish, and then Wish it theoretically represents a Void Snare. All right, no land, no land. That's a bummer. Hmm, so, I think I'm gonna cast Gibson in response here. Do you have a Veil of Summer? No Veil, okay. A braid, echoing truth, wish, and if. All right, so one of our goblins is going to die here. It's unfortunate. I'm not sure what else they've been holding up, though. It might just be like a handful of titans. That's entirely possible. All right, so. I'm guessing they're going to give me Pass and Flames and Wish. That's what they should give me. But we'll figure out whatever they're doing now, I guess. So the first Wish will cost this. Yeah, we're a land drop short of winning, I believe. So Wish will cost two because our Goblin is about to die. And then Void Snare. Well, actually, we could be able to win with just one Goblin, I believe. They gave me a Braid. That's odd. I believe I can let that resolve. Because if I, for some reason, this might stop them from casting something, and this should still cost the same on their end step. Okay, now we abrade, destroy target artifact. And now we attempt to win. Let's start off on vision, it's pretty free to do. I wonder if they're sitting on something, which is why they gave us the past in flames. Which is really strange otherwise. Um, I guess I can see if this resolves. And it did. So weird. All right. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be playing around at the moment. So we can just get grape shot here and then double grape shot. I guess they could have weather. They might be holding open weather the storm. Um, but you know what? I put Ignite Memories in my sideboard. Let's cast it. That's what I would like to do. Cast your weather the storm. Yeah, they totally have weather. Called it. All right, we can still beat this. All right. I really want to reveal prime time six times. Let's go. You know that they don't have any lands. <laughs> uh, same targets. Ignite memories. Ah, oh, this is so sweet. Summoner's Pact. That's not a good one. Summoner's Pact. Uh, escape Shift. Okay. So we, we probably know their hand is like two packs and Escape Shift. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, well, that was fun, at least. I like I enjoyed myself. 
So I can grape shot. If I grape shot right now, I don't have enough mana to flash back. So I'm going to get a little uh, risky here, I think. I'm going to cast Visions looking for a ritual. Okay. Put on top. Now we can opt. Now we cast the ritual. Good brings us up to four. I can grape shot, flash back. Yeah, this is going to win. Because that leaves us with five floatings, four to flash back the past in flames, and then we can grape shot again. Get out of here with that weather of the storm shenanigans. All right. I don't care about your weather. If we had a fluster storm on the board, that Wish could, in theory, answer that. I just don't think you need to play a fluster. I think Pact is going to be better a uh, majority of the time. Um. <laughs> Our opponent's telling us to ignite memories again. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So we're 2-2 two two now. That was a pretty sweet round. Let's see if we can get the third. For some amount of marbles, match number five, we are on the play. Let's see if we can finish this with a strong 3-2. This hand is secretly, or maybe not so secretly, extremely clunky. Um, this Wish is a dead card. The second Piff is a dead card. This is essentially a mulligan to five. We have no second land, no rituals. We should just ship this. And this is already better. Um, I think we're supposed to get rid of a ritual, though. I'd rather have a second Serum Visions uh, than an extra ritual. And I think we have to keep both lands, so... It's either Second Ritual or Second Visions, and I th just think that Second Visions is likely to go a little bit farther. All right, let's use our Flooded Strand to get a Steam Vents. Cast Visions. Um, this is okay. So a game plan we could look, I don't know what our opponent's playing, but a game plan we could look to do is just like, on the end of turn four, chat four lands, cast gifts, uh, see how far that gets us. Long pause in our upkeep here. We probably just have a stop set. Okay. And let's draw that scalding turn I knew that I put there. This is fine. Okay. So right now we will be able to achieve the end step tap four lands gifts plan that is on the menu. We already have past in flame, so that's kind of nice. Are we playing the mirror? No, we're playing um, the blue red Ragavan deck most likely. Could be Blitz. Squirrel Avatar. Mishra's Bobble, so they found the card to cast off it too. Lucky. Maximum value, author expressive iteration. Sure. Okay. So I could look to ritual gifts um, on their end step here. I don't know if that's something we want, but it's available. They have seven cards. All right, so does that mean that this is Blitz? I don't know if the Ragavan deck plays Morphos. I'm just not familiar enough. Stormwing. Okay, so this is Blitz. Um, I shouldn't be expecting uh, main deck counter spells from this deck. So the fear would be dying. Uh, that's what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> uh, no one likes to die. So the question is, can they kill us next turn from 16 life? The answer is maybe. So we can Ritual Gifts here. All right. So we definitely want Ritual and then the other Ritual. What this deck really wants is a third Ritual to be printed. That would help. Um, the Morphos. Guess we can get Wish. I think they're probably going to give us Wish Morphos if I had a guess. Make it dip more difficult for us to natural past and flames win. But I would obviously take double ritual as well. And if they give us wish, we can bounce their stormwing to buy some time. 
Am I dead? Okay. Wish. Get that void snare. Bounce the storm wing. Get out of here. Just uh, let's just get another land drop or two. Try to slow them down, just so we can uh, successfully cast past some flames with mana floating. I have so many cards in hand. Like I'm just worried if they get one attack step of the prowess creature that I'm just dead. Soul scar. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna opt here. See what I can do. I don't think I want that. So I could try to win here. The downside is if I try to win, they could just burn me out. Or burn the brawl out. I guess it's better than death. So I'm going to cast the Morphos because I feel like I, I, I can't afford to burn the Pyretic. So they're probably going to kill it anyway. And this way I get to save three life. I don't actually lose any mana with the Morphos here. And now I have the possibility of hitting my land drop. Okay. Like, that was fine. I saved four damage from that lightning bolt next turn. Maybe I'll get to live now. Um, yeah. All right, so land five. So we know that they have Stormwing. Can they kill us with four cards? Expressive Iteration, yeah. Channeler, okay. I have a feeling we're not dead this turn. Soulscar getting in there. No blocks, come get me. That's what I thought. Back off. And they're still choosing to not play uh, this, the Stormwing. So I think that our opponent probably has another bolt. Uh, so we could go Ritual into Past in Flames. We're at 19. I think we're going to need a lot to go right in order to win here. Um, Problem is, I think I'm dead if I pass. So let's try to get a lot of things to go right. Okay, so it's free for us to start on a ritual here. And another ritual. And a blue here, and then maybe a red. Not the land drop I wanted. Hmm. Tough spot to be in. So our, our grape shot just isn't big enough with this wish, which is part of the problem. We don't have enough mana to empty. So I think I'm gonna have blue blue. Um so that was actually pretty good. That was a great draw. Hard to complain about that. So that's gonna give us seven mana, which allows us to desperate into empty. So now we can wish empty. The question is, are we going to live? Uh, we know that there's a Stormwing looming. So Flashback Piff is awful. It doesn't actually achieve anything here. But it could bounce a Stormwing next turn, which is kind of uh, nice. That is something we can do. Play our land. And then empty. If I can find it. There it is. Okay, so we can clear Stormwing next turn. All right. Is this going to be good enough? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Expressive. All right, so they're deciding on the surveils here with the Dragon Rage Channeler. Apparently, Monastery Swiss Spear was not good enough. It's a shame that the uh, canal came into play tapped. I think uh, we likely would be in a much better spot if we had another spell or two in there. I'm trying to think that if I... Are they going to shock? Shocking is pretty dangerous here. Ooh. Those have to attack, so we're going to go to nine. It flies, like we can't block anyway. All right, so what does this allow us to do? I can Ritual, Flashback. It's worth noting that I could remand whatever they have 
uh, the problem is if they have, um, what is it called? Uh, Lava Dart. It, it's not that good. So if I ritual here, let's think about this. If I ritual flashback, I can opt plus Void Snare, or Visions plus Void Snare. Or I can just flashback Piff and not burn the ritual. I think it's probably worth it for the extra cantrip. Now I can Void Snare, bounce the channeler. All right, so really wish I had the extra land for this remand right now. So if I swing out, they can block one and then dart would still kill them. So they would need dart bolt here. I think I'm just gonna make them have it. They have to have it here. I could leave one back, but there's a good chance that Dragon Rage Chandler just kills me next turn anyway. So there's the dart. I thought they had that. So they need another spell on top of dart here. Um, so there's dart. They can dart one more block, and then that's exactly lethal. Do they have another dart? Ah. Oh. Okay. So they have to sack both their lands. Well, I guess they can... Um, yeah, they do have to do both. They get so many surveils here. So now they block and they go to one. And then they have they have Dragon Reach Channeler, Stormwing, and they have to kill me with that. Plus this, we're probably just dead. Um, yeah. Like I don't know if I was supposed to leave those back. You're probably screaming at your computer, being like, "Obviously, I don't think it was uh, that obvious." They had to have double dart or dart plus bolt and we knew that they had a dead card in hand all right so now we pass and probably die so they have at least six damage that's uh seven so if their iteration misses maybe i mean it's not likely but it's possible so they have four cards we know two of them we know three of them now, so they have two unknowns. Whisper is a good one. So Dart. Yeah, Dart does it here. And they had the Bolt. So they just had everything last turn. It didn't really matter. Um, in fact, they might have been able to kill us on their main phase before that. I don't know. Probably not, because I, I like to think our opponent's smart enough where they wouldn't have just missed lethal. So... It's worth noting though that they had the bolt and the darts, so there's a good chance that if I took the conservative play, they would have just burned us out on their main phase. Um, I don't really like remand here. I know that much. I don't know how good relay is. A little concerned that it might not be good enough, but I want to try it. All right, is it Blitz? Arguably uh, one of the best decks in the format. Let's see if Gift Storm with Wish can overcome it. Friendly reminder, if you would like to become a Stormtrooper, we have some terrific links for you. You can find those in the description down below. Seven different social media channels. I would highly recommend the Discord personally. A lot of great combo conversation happening in there, including Modern, so make sure you join. All right. Game number two, we're on the play against Is It Blitz. No mountain here, otherwise this hand's pretty good. Um, you know, I think I'm actually gonna try this because if we hit the red source, I can Ritual, Morphos, Bear, Ritual, Relay, which is just like really strong. Um, I wanna see how that plays out. Unfortunately, we have two islands, just not ideal. And there's the swift spear. Hopefully this keep wasn't too punishing. Gifts. Oh, I'm already regretting this. I'm not going to draw the red source. I'm just going to die. Oh, why did I keep this? I just wanted a Casgale Bannock relay in modern too badly. 
or so badly, whatever. Uh, Manamorphose from the opponent here, pumping up their Swift Spear. Strong start, geez. Come on, Red Source off the top rope. Might actually just be able to win if we draw the Red Source. Let's go. Nope. <sighs> Punished. Yeah, this is probably my own fault. I was just too enticed by Galvanic Relay in all its power. Yep. I really do think we probably could have won last turn if we uh, had drawn a red source. Or at least done something powerful. Um, so red source would have been Ritual, Morphos Electromancer, or Ritual. I guess we probably wouldn't have won. Uh, we'd have Wish with two floating, which isn't good enough. But we could have relayed. Kind of considering what they should do with this red source. If they should hold open Bolt or further kill me. I think Hold Open Bolt's just the smarter play. Okay, they're giving us a chance. Come on, Doc. And... nope. Okay, that's sort of a bummer. Um, sorry, I probably should have mulliganed that hand. Th that game's on me. Although I, I can't say that we would have won that matchup regardless. So, just to go over this again. Ignite Memories might not be needed. Um, I mean, that was a cute card I wanted to play with Wish today. I mean, it's good in some matchups. It's good versus Titan. I know that Tron uh, isn't really, it doesn't see much play anymore, but it's okay versus Eldrazi Tron as well. Um, let me know what you thought, other than my poor play, obviously, uh, and keeping that uh, hand that I shouldn't have. But did Wish seem worth it to you? Uh, there was a couple games where it really shined when we had the opportunities to cast it. It's just when we had the opportunity to cast it. I don't know, in my opinion, if Wish actually solves anything for the deck. It does give you more main deck answers to problematic permanence, but is that good enough? We didn't really face any Force of Negation decks, so we didn't get to see Pact of Negation, Pact of Negation versus Force of Negation, which would have been pretty cool. Um, yeah. And let me know if you have any suggestions for improving it. I'm always willing to listen to those. So I hope you enjoyed this at least despite the poor record. Uh, take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.